most of the time. The SIM card not inserted error is caused by a bad SIM card or one that wasn't put in correctly, but there are other reasons why it might show up if you're getting this error on whatever Samsung Galaxy device you own. This video is for you. Restart or power cycle is a fundamental troubleshooting step that should not be skipped regardless of whether you're fixing a computer or a phone. A simple restart of an Android smartphone will reload the operating system and all of its applications. The SIM card not inserted error might occur if the SIM card shifts within the slot over time. Breaking the connection, in certain cases, removing the SIM card tray might solve this problem in the short term. Toggling airplane mode has helped some customers with the SIM card not inserted warning. So try that if it doesn't work for you. When the airplane mode on your Samsung Galaxy is activated, all network and SIM card capabilities are disabled. Try putting your mobile into airplane mode and keeping an eye on it to see if it solves the issue. possible that, in addition to having the wrong network mode selected, your device is also connected to the wrong network provider. If you have a device and it supports two SIM cards, you may have encountered this problem more than once. still getting the error message after all this time. It's probably time to double check the SIM card. If your Samsung Galaxy device is unable to recognize your SIM card, try switching to a new SIM card that is compatible with your device. An undiscovered software flaw is one probable cause of the problem on your device. For testing purposes, a factory reset is the best way to get back to square one. If you want to keep any of your data, you should save copies of it somewhere else before you run this as a precaution against being locked out of your device after the reset. Set. You should also write down your Google ID and password for this phone. You should disable the device's factory reset protection before doing a reset if you are unsure of your login credentials. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.